As the train from Southampton chugged into Waterloo, Synth had mistaken house chimneys for factories, the promise of plenty of work. It was a promise that turned out to be harder to fulfill. Back home, with my degree and self-regard, I would never have dreamed of serving any soul tea. The Muse is a novel that's set in both 1930s Spain and 1960s London and it's about this long lost masterpiece of a painting that links the stories of the women in these two time periods together. On the train home to Clapham, a little girl gazed at me as if I was a painting. Her small fingers reached out and rubbed my earlobe and she asked her mother, Does it come off? I think we tell each other stories in an effort to understand life. Hearing other people's experiences, other people's feelings, is a way of kind of validating or making sense of our own experiences. Like holding a mirror up to your own life. For me, there is often quite a blurred boundary between reality and fiction, and so stories are not separate to life. They are life, they are a reflection of life, they are a means to make sense of life. It's a very primitive thing, I think, and, and a very, very strong impulse and a very special one. I'd spent the day wandering the rooms, moving from Gainsborough to Chagall via Aquatints by William Blake. With an audiobook, you're encouraged to have a more rich relationship with the words that you're listening to because you have to bring your imagination to it. You create your own landscape and it's in, within the power and the scope of your imagination to conjure that up. It's very individual, it's unique, it's yours. Just hearing a voice telling you a story is an incredibly calming and quite intimate experience. There's this kind of magic to it. You can hear drama happening, unfolding. You hear a voice, the sound, and the emotion. I'm sorry, Synth, but I was not going to put shoes on sweaty Cinderella's for the rest of my life. The pressure of desire curdled inside me. In the meantime, I wrote revenge poems about the English weather and lied to my mother that London was heaven.